Let's watch some dancing! Hello, lovely humans! This is Riki from Riki Like Magic, and Shibi is not here because Shibi is not tall enough to be here. So, um, today, as the title suggests, we're going to talk about something that I am so so excited to talk about, which is the Jimin Lai Solo Pangtan Bomb. Um, okay, so several reasons why I have not chosen any of his live performances in the tours that they have done, because first of all, when I first saw this Pangtan Bomb, I watched it about seven times in a row. <laughs> Um, it completely floored me. It just completely floored me. It is still, in my opinion, one of the best things I've ever seen an idol do, dance-wise. Uh, secondly, he can put every single iota of energy and explosion in this solo because he's not singing. It's also like really, really well focused on him, so it's class to watch and really exciting. And there's just too I'm gonna find it so difficult to talk about everything. I think I'll miss things. So again, of course, circle time is in the comments for anything that you want to add to anything that I'm going to say or what I see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, okay, so first, a little announcement. I have a Patreon account. So if you, there's not many tiers yet, but if you want to support this channel in any way, then I will put the link in the description below. And I am forever grateful for even just you watching this. And if you don't want to support, that's completely fine. This is totally optional. But if you do, it's very, very little. And the reward at the moment is that you can request what I watch or there'll be polls where I'll give you options. I don't take requests in these comments. I take requests on my Patreon page. Woo! Okay, it's cool. So, oh, let's get started. Okay. I kind of don't have much to preface this with. Like, he's just class. The Actually, what I did notice, I did an analysis of the 3J performance and he has a lot more softness in that solo that he does versus this one. This one, I think he's um, accessing every part of explosive energy he has within him. And I don't think that is his most natural mode of dancing, but it works phenomenally well here. But you can see he gets extremely tired at certain points. And I think it's because he's like not holding back at all. And every beat that he needs to hit, he's not like, doing any soft hits with it at all. So that's what I just love about this. It's like, he's still able to incorporate all of his smoothness, but there's like this energy that's completely contagious. It's so fun. It's like, I can't wait. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. so much okay let's go back oh also as per usual this is not a reaction channel and i pause a lot and i talk a lot so if you are not into that see you later okay let's watch it again okay okay even just that bit so he hits his head twirls his hand at the same time but at the bottom his knee is doing this circle as well and i just love how he hits the snare but then his entire body turns into this like matrix slow motion thing for this whole piece in general is insane how well he knows the music like i watch it about four times now before recording and every time i saw him express the music a little bit more and i, I heard the music differently every time because i was watching him and watching him and i was like oh yeah i hear that beat now that i've seen him dance that beat so this bit it's beautiful because it's his way of developing embodiment in all these different parts. He's so good at keeping everything smoothly together, but at the same time, isolating each body part accordingly. It's stunning. This is absolutely stunning. Hey. 
Oh, okay, cool. Uh, let's go back again. So I love Ija. He has these lines. Oh, and that's a good pause here for my next favorite bit. But he has these lines that are just kind of natural to Jimin lines that I think are just so beautiful. Like he has an amazing plie. I have no plie whatsoever. So it allows for this gorgeous shape when he's sliding into place that I don't think is a, is a shape that one can give words to, <laughs> but it's like a beautiful long leg and then the bending of the plie into that. And I think I just love as well how he really, he's so good at putting different, like different attention and intelligences into different body parts. So that's a dancer's job, but he's extremely good at that. Like we naturally use our hands all the time. You know, like we're most dexterous in our hands, but when you're a dancer, you have to try and develop as much intelligence into different parts of your body. So there, even when he slides in, it's like definitely there's a pull coming from his hip and then he, the rest of his body is doing other things, but the momentum starts with his hip and it's just gorgeous, it's just gorgeous to watch. And then here, he's going to slide into the, he's great turnout as well, and he's gonna slide into this beautiful, like the side of his uh, toe pulls into this gorgeous, another gorgeous shape. He's just full of gorgeous shapes. Ah, I love a bit. Okay, let's watch it again. Uh, because it's really, really hard to dissect that moment. So he slides in, pulls at an angle, his knee coming to the side, claps his hands, and then it's not like he wiggles both hips and knees at the same time. It's like there's this asymmetry going on, which is beautiful. Yes! So it's like this giant knee comes out to the side on the right, really, really opens, hits the other knee to then start another moment to then step out on the left and do something else, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So let's watch it again. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just to open end to the next move, but it's so, so clear where everything comes from, everything starts, where the pathway goes into the next moment. Oh, it's just stunning, stunning. And then this, I think, is my favorite bit of the whole thing. I've done it myself, just like in freestyles and stuff in my room. I can't get the power that he has, but it's so fun. Oh my god, that was like a guttural grunt. So, the, just like he has a lot of popping experience, but what he's doing there is not popping, it's hitting. Like, it's being able to use your muscles, it's actually being able to stop yourself in a way that it's extremely um, strong. It's being able to stop yourself, it's not popping, but it's like going into a move and then suddenly stopping yourself, like in amounts that it, it's hard to measure, <laughs> but he does it. And it's my favorite like snake -y moment. And he almost kind of does this whole, like it's not a spiral, but it comes up and back in. And then this is kind of a pop, but it's more of a hit. And the way he does it, like he looks like some sort of demon and like his hair at that time as well and the way he looks at the camera is so creepy and effective and class, like class. Okay. Ah, oh, I love that bit as well. That looked so good in their solo films. It was, so, because the way it was, it was, I don't, but then, right, oh, words. So like he can actually do that with his body. So he goes dum dum and then comes into and then starts, just the musicality is insane as well because he lasts just as long as the music lasts before the next bit. And the way he waves, it just works with the music so well and it looks like it shouldn't be possible to be done that quickly. And then I think as well, right, it's the control, that's what it is. It's not just what he does at that moment, but what he does after to control the effect of that moment, if that makes sense. Like I had a dance teacher once who talked about, it's not how high you kick your leg, it's how beautifully and gracefully you bring it down afterwards. So it's this control that shows your maturity as a dancer or how professional you are in your movement. It's that kind of control that helps people know that they're watching someone special. So it's this, yeah, this works great, but it's this, like, it's not that he like smacks his hands down on his body or like just relaxes. It's like, it's still going. Like he's still doing the move, but he's finishing it. Like, 
So good. Yeah. Okay, we have to go back. Let's do it again. Let's just do all of that again. <sighs> Quite an unfortunate screenshot there. Okay, let's go back. Boom, boom. Yeah. Yes. And it's also the build. It's also the build. Da, 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 da. And so he starts with his head and then hits and then da, 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 and then comes down. But then it's this. It's like I think it comes down here and then suddenly it's just in his heels for the next part. The awareness he have he has of his body in order to place different moments in different body parts. It's so satisfying to watch. Let's go watch it again. Yes, yeah, so the heels, tap, tap, boom. Yeah, and it's like super, super tense, and then he relaxes. So the tension has left his upper body, and instead the shaking comes from the center and the feet and lower half, so he's able to collapse down into a clap. It's so nice. It's so satisfying. Everything is so clear. Every pathway is so great. Love it. Yeah, oh, okay, I know this is so small. It's so small, but like he steps out, so recovers, and then there's this hit hit in this shaking moment. I mean, the kind of understanding of your body and your movement possibilities is unreal, unreal. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, that's my favorite bit as well. Let's go back. <laughs> because I think it shows the music really well. He doesn't have a lot of time. And I think he could, in my, in my personal biased aesthetic opinion, he could have started a little bit sooner, but maybe that wasn't like the choice that they wanted to go with. But it, it, it's so nice. It shows the music so well here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, um, no, he does shake. He does shake. I'm just not seeing that right. But I think he could, I wanted maybe more or something. But it's just this, like it helps you see maybe there's a bit of vibrato in the voice or maybe maybe it, it, it's trying to show the voice in a different way or show different textures. It's lovely. lovely. He does this thing as well, like he leads with his knees and hips very beautifully. And here there's like this circle that's coming around and I love what, I don't know where next the impetus is going to come from. So impetus meaning the start of the movement. A lot of the time you can guess that when watching someone and the most exciting dancers is where you can't guess where the movement is going to be most accented. Accented. <sighs> Love it. Yeah, even here. Oh, all of that. This, oh my, like, so we've been seeing such strength and then just to even like slow it down and you know, use your hand to start that beat, but then have it read up the whole body in this really, really slow, kind of juicy way. I haven't seen a lot of juice yet. So that's a really nice, like marshmallow moment. Gives a lot of space. Then even here at the screenshot, like his lines. I mean, when I do that, it's like nothing. And then here he's gonna uh, round his leg around. And it's just so stunning. Because I think he plants his supporting leg so well into the floor. He's so rooted. And I think his focus is really great that it just, it just looks so pretty here. Yeah. Oh no, it's the recovery. It's the landing and the recovery that's really nice. So he brings the leg around, but it's how he stops and brings everything in that is just so nice. <laughs> That. Yes, okay, so lots of slots there. That's the like, um, the chorus we kind of all know. Actually, I, I, I once upon a time really wanted to learn this solo from this bomb, but I think that would just take, be an incredible journey, but very, very difficult. But here, yeah, tum tum, it's kind of the easiest to see. And then the pelvis coming up with that groove at the end, and then it gets really staccato again by falling into the heels and falling into the body, led by like the heel coming forward, which is really nice. And then I really, I really, it's so simple, but I really like those feet, stomach, head. It's very, very clear and it's levels as well, I think, and it brings the attention back up to the upper half again, because with the heels, I always watch those heels, even though he's like touching I still watch the feet and then here it's feet and then brings it back up again, which is really nice. Oh yeah, and then these legs now. 
<laughs> yeah, it's really cool. That those feet remind me of a shuffle move. I think it's shuffle. I think it's called shuffle. There's, um, I can't really show you because legs still chopped off in this, but uh, very simple. It's just like kick and behind, kick and behind. This is a variation of it. So he's like kick and then he kicks again behind himself, I think. I think to move again. And I really like that. It kind of breaks the expected, which is really nice. <laughs> Yeah, I think I really, yeah, I just, re it's really effective, that choreography, just because it's like, release and gather, release and gather. And I think it may give him a chance to kind of relax a little bit as well, because what he's been doing would take a toll on anyone. <laughs> there we go. Boom. I, li I really like this bit. I really like this bit as well. I, I mean just my motto, I'll get it on my gravestone. I like this bit, but it's this. Because you step on a beat with your foot, but then the rest of your body has to continue dancing to a beat that isn't necessarily a lot of movement, but it's just filling, filling the music. So it's like foot and uh, So you have to kind of let it read through the body and he just holds the space so, so well. Oh. Okay, sorry, uh, let's go back. <laughs> this just shape. It's so pretty. It's so pleasing. I mean, kind of an extension into his turnout a little bit, but uh huh. I can't. I love that. And like, he can't punch the forward hurt quite a lot, <laughs> but that's what I'm talking about is control, I think. Because here he's, punch he's punching the floor, but he can't because you'd either hurt yourself or mark the floor or whatever reason. I mean, you're not going to want to actually punch your knuckles into the floor. But the, the strength of his punch hits the bass in that music so well. So I really, really like how, I mean, the strength, so strength and control. Strength and control, that's what Jibin has, is strength and control. And this smoothness that kind of marries the two really beautifully or kind of weaves their way through the two beautifully. So that like punch, he stops at exactly the moment where he needs to stop, but still there's this strength coming from the shoulder and he's putting his whole body into it. So it's really gorgeous and it fits the music so well. And then look at this flexibility. Like I'd say he could just lie on the floor through those hips. Like with that knee up there the whole time. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and the poor dancer. Super, super tired. Like he really, I was kind of wondering if he was. I mean, he's like not doing well. <laughs> Like it, there's moments where he really squints and you can tell he's kind of not putting it on or not being like, I just really need a break and I'm gonna show people that I need a break. It's like, no, he's, he's, he really gave it everything. So that made me think about the, what we just saw again. And I was like, yeah, I, I wonder if he got to breathe much because there's so much happening in each moment. And I'd say you get to a point, this point here, where he's like, <laughs> because um, he's been exploding. So using these kind of, I don't know, I don't really know anything anatomically, but like quick fire muscles, those reactions that are really, really quick. And if you do that over and over again, I mean, you're going to be hurting and you're going to be out of breath and really, really tired, I'd say. Because I was like, mm. but then thinking back to the choreography, I'm like, to have such hits, such like, it's like his whole body is an earthquake, a mini earthquake, but an earthquake nonetheless. So then I do understand like the tiredness. I just can't really, you know, I can't do it. So I like empathetically can't understand. Oh, that shape. Like this is added a turn this time, it's a little bit different. It's yeah, it's interesting. I really like um, as well that it's very clear that there's a two heel at the start of the chorus and then just uh, one heel, one heel to hit a particular beat. I kind of find that interesting. It um, inspires a lot of I don't know interruptions or stuttering or hesitation in me when I watch it. I'm like oh I don't know. It's kind of a it's a nice touch. 
Yeah. I just let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, you shaking? Sorry. I one day I will put up a, a post of what my setup is right now. It's extremely professional, as you probably can tell. It's really not. So if it's shaking, if it's been shaking this entire time, deeply apologize. But um, again, low budget here. <laughs> so let's go back. This, all of this. I kind of just really like how it's, he's so continuous. He's so continuous, but still so hard hitting. Like there's parts of him, it's, it feels, poly, no, it doesn't feel polyrhythmic. I mean, maybe it's close to polyrhythmic, that there's this continuous moment happening in his upper body while still extremely um, sharp movement down below, like really reaching and then chain, like, but, but like this doesn't, for, he doesn't forget about this arm, it just kind of continues into another arm, it's so pretty. And then this next section, um, he does this really, really clear curls of the fingers into the next moment, because we've seen this before, but he's still always adding his own kind of flavor, which is really great to watch, really nice. I love that bit, I love that bit, like, like, that's, I mean, it, I can do it, but I can't do it as hard as he can because I don't have the muscle. I just love how he, he felt kind of lazy there, which was nice, the continuous. And yes, he was still marking the beat with his feet the whole time, but it felt a little bit lazier, which was lovely. And then that came out of nowhere. I think that's why I really like that bit. It's because I couldn't predict it again. So he comes to the floor and you're like, yes, 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 we've seen most of this. And then it's like, dum, dum, ka. And the power, it's like he, he reaches into his reserves again to like, tap, tap, to hit that. So nice. This body, oh, I also like, yeah, I also really, really like that bit. I am just astounded. I, it's one of my favorite bombs ever. I, it was like manna from heaven. <laughs> Cause I was like, you, there is so much to see, so much to get from this. So this moment here, what do we have? We have, we've just had tap, tap, boom. And then there's this little body roll. So again, your attention is brought up, but then he, your attention is brought again into the center of his body, just constantly aware of where he's bringing the movement. And this comes into a body roll, but then we have this, oh yeah, this thing where, um, so he starts that movement from his core, hits whatever he needs to hit, and then this is like um, a result, uh, rebound. And there's this rebound effect happening in the arm that is done so well. Like you can tell how much he's practiced this because even there when I'm doing it, I feel like I'm trying to control it too much or I haven't, I don't know the intention and I don't know the center of the movement. I'm just doing this at you, which is controlling it too much. Whereas here, he started the move before this. This is, this is a result, but it's a very, very beautiful, exciting moment that came from something before it. Like he started the move before the move, which is what I love. So then I think there's like this moment of build or like a hit and then it reacts into the arm and it's one of my favorite things. It's so, so nice to see. <laughs> oh, even just that. All he has to do is dip a little bit in the body and then his leg just like, <laughs> like touches the other side of the room. <laughs> but it just feels like he's kept the height in his spine and then his leg just shoots out and you're like how actually let's go back i want to see if i'm even right yeah here and then and then oh i love this oh i love all of it no stop it jimin you're making my job very difficult yeah so then good screenshot leg and then there's this lift but it's this breath like i the access to the different textures he has is, is always astonishing to me. So when he releases that leg, comes in and then lifts, it's like this moment where there isn't any muscular effort. It's one I'd say of the few moments where we don't see muscular effort and, and to be able to access that out of nowhere. And you know, you can see he's so open in his hips and um, oh, it's just it's so pretty. Yeah, and that hit to the snare, oh class. So that hit to the snare to come in, still keeping the sense of like as little muscular effort as possible. So it's more circles and it's more smooth. And then it's the choices he can make because then he comes into his head and then punches, I think three or four times. 
And instead of you, because he can use his whole body into that punch, as we've seen before, like when he hits into the floor, that came from the shoulder, that comes from the back. But here, he's really chosen to keep it into the arm, so his body is set and like stoic almost, kind of as a support. And then he just boom, boom, boom with the arms, which I really, really like because again, I can tell he's doing it because he's made, or like the choreographer and him have made a choice to do that with the movement rather than this is the only way to do this movement because this is the only options I have as a dancer. But it's like he has many options so he can do kind of, he can access different things. Love it. <laughs> I'd say he's so wrecked. Like, so wrecked. So that bit, right? I understand that it's to, uh, so this bit where he's coming around into that, into those grooves and he does it beautifully. For me, choreographically, I know it's probably that they're trying to build into this next moment and trying to keep the momentum and keep the scale at which they have brought us, which is amazingness. But I, I feel it's a little bit too hip hop driven for such high floaty sounds in his voice and in the music. I kind of, for me, it stuck out like a sore thumb and then maybe not in the best way. Like he's committing to it. But I, I for choreographically, that was funny for me because it was just a little bit too, um, ghetto <laughs> versus what was happening what he's dressed in what he's done before it didn't feel like it f it fit for me this is totally personal so in circle time let me know what you think good and he kind of felt he kind of fell out of that jump but dealt with it really well by taking another step and turning it into this kind of uh lost kind of a body but i just really liked how he turned that little shudder out of the jump into this into part of his character really really liked that oh i missed that i'm sorry now oh look at the, oh no i muted it i muted it how did i mute it let's go but oh, i found it oh that was a good pause ricky he goes really high onto his toes for just a second and rotates around uh, this gorgeous axis. Wow, I miss that. You guys, I miss that. Here, whoa. Pretty, and the leg thing again. Oh, stunning. Like he just seems to have a lot of understanding of different levels as well, or just what his body can do with different levels. It's like this elasticity in his body I've talked about before in the 3J performance. Just this kind of like, it seems to just continue. His movement just seems to continue past his skin. So coming up and over like that, but it really felt like it was, that was class. It really felt like it was coming from the floor to the tips of his hair. And we're good. <laughs> I'm like, that's half real. This kind of floppy tired walk. <laughs> okay, I'm like, it's cause he's wrecked. Like right here. I'm actually so delighted I got to chat about that because it's one of my favorite things I've ever seen anything BTS related it's one of my favorite things of BTS so I hope you enjoyed it and I have a question I don't know who choreographed that and I want to know who choreographed that because it feels like it's obviously BTS style but somebody else's style also and I wonder if Jimin incorporated his techniques into that because I can't find who choreographed that. So if there's any measure of researchers or people who know watching this right now, I would love to know. I would absolutely love to know. It is so good. It's so good. And I hope you enjoyed it with me. So yes, now circle time. Circle time is a place in the comments where it is a safe environment for you to share what you love about dance, what you see about dance, what you like, what you dislike, what you want more of, what you want less of. I kind of want to build and help people articulate things that they see in dance because I think it can then make dance a more kind of appreciated art form because the body has languages that we just can't understand and are so abstract but there are certain words we can put to them and we all have our own words and all of your words 
are right and true and whatever you're feeling, just try and articulate it because I'd love to hear from you. So if you enjoyed this video, you can like, you can subscribe, you can ring the little bell that gives you all the notifications, you can share it with your friends and you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Remember, you are who you choose to be and you are part of something bigger and deeper than yourself. And Shibi does not say bye because he is not here. So I'm gonna try what I did last time, which was awful. See ya!